Sometime in 2011, I was a PhD student and things were very tough. I remember a particular time I was dropped off somewhere and the person who dropped me off actually thought I had enough money to take the next train to my house. But alas, I had nothing on me. And I remember that day I cried. And I remember reflecting deep within, saying, if my life looks like this, then where is it going? And I appear confused about my future. I appear confused about my life. And I thought deep within me that God himself must be confused if I am confused. It was at that time that Jeremiah chapter 29 verse 11 actually made so much sense to me. That scripture says, For I know the thought that I think towards you, saith the Lord, thought of good and not of evil, to give you a future and a hope. And the two words that stood out to me the most was, for I know. You know, and I thought God answered that thought in my spirit, saying, listen, boy, the fact that you're confused about your situation, about your future, does not mean I'm confused. I am God. And because of that, I know. And that scripture clearly starts with those two words, for I know. God was literally showing me that even though I may not know much about my future at that point in time, he knows. He has a plan. He had a plan way before I had any situation. He had a plan way before I had any circumstance. He had a purpose for me. And what I was going through did not matter, did not change the plan that he had for me. And when I got that word, I became confident. And not only that, his plans for me are good and not of evil to give me an expected and a future and a hope. And I just want to preach to someone watching this at the moment. I don't know, maybe this is your situation as well, where things are looking strange, things are looking tough, and you appear to be confused about the state of things or how things will turn out. And because of your confusion or your ignorance of what's going on in your life right now, you're thinking God must be confused as well. Now you're, you're just wondering, does God have a plan for me? Does, does he have anything in plan for me? I've brought you good news. The good news is the fact that we may be confused. We may be ignorant. We may not know what to do. We may not even know what our future looks like. But God knows exactly what to do. He had a plan. He had a purpose way before we made a mistake. Way before we made an error. Way before our situation looks gloomy or look bad. God is in perfect control of whatever it is that you're going through. Even if you're not in control, he is in control. And because he has a purpose for you, he holds all things by the word of his power. And if he could create the whole world in six days and rested on the seventh, I believe very strongly that your situation is only this small with him. And if you believe, it's going to turn your life and your situation around. And that's all I've got for you on this episode of Mood Vitality. If you have been inspired, share this message with someone right away. And if you're saying Simon, you've got to bring this message to my podium, in my conference, my church, or that event I'm putting together. All you have to do is go on to samuelacondado.com slash speaking. You'll find a link to a form to book me for that event of yours. And anywhere all over the world, by the grace of God, I will be there. God bless you and thank you for watching. Bye for now.